Hey, I am going to show you in Google Drive how you can um, create a, well, you can add highlighters to your um, Google document so you can upload this into your Google Classroom and your students can be at home doing digital learning and still be able to do work that maybe normally they would do in the classroom, okay? So what I have here is I have a uh, PDF. We're currently reading the Magic Treehouse number two book, The Night, the Night at the Dawn. And I have, uh, I'll put, post another video on how I actually added this into Google Classroom. But for right now, if you already know how to, you would upload your document into Google Slides. That's why I am. And then you will open up a shape box. So you would go over here to your shapes and I'm gonna do this. And I ended up doing the shapes the same exact size as the word. And then I'm gonna go over here to this box where it says fill with color. And I am going to fill mine with yellow. Um, and before I, um, right now you can see that the yellow is covering up the whole word. So once they put it over there, they won't be able to see those letters, but I would like it to make the it more transparent. So I'm gonna go back to the color box. My color box there. Oh, let me click on it. Let me delete that shape, I'm sorry. All right, so I clicked on it, and here we go. And so then I'm going to click on the word custom. And then down here where you see transparency, instead of I want it to be full yellow, I'm going to move it so that I can still see through the word. And then I'm going to hit OK. And there you go. You can see now you can read the word, and it is Jack. And now all you do is just copy, control, C to copy, and then control V to paste it. And then I'm just going to move it down to another word, and there I go. And I just make sure that I have made, I make the boxes the same length as the word so that when they move it um, up here, then they can, um, um, they can find the word easily um, I'm gonna have to tell my kids to work on this because Miss Holland is having a trouble a terrible time with it herself all right but there we go and that is how you add um, a highlighter strip to your Google Doc thank you